So ask Katie, and she'll tell you right now. She is complaining that the honors class is too weak, that it's really not at honors level. So yeah. Hey, you going to do this tomorrow? Are you doing the test tomorrow? For sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Katie's class sounds even weaker than Sugden's last year. No, she's a tough teacher. Really? Because like I hear, okay, for like group quizzes and stuff before the test, she's like, okay. Guys, we're going to do a group quiz. Okay, so once again, uh, I'm recording this uh, session, so you guys need to really be quiet and cooperative. Okay, otherwise we won't finish, and we're going to get a lot of nonsense on, on YouTube there. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do today is 8.2, which is arithmetic sequences. And then tomorrow I start out with 8.3, which is geometric sequences. I spend two days on that. On Thursday, I start out at 8.5, and on Friday, you have a quiz on 8.1 through 8.3. So it's kind of getting uh, full speed ahead, okay? Because you know that start testing is going to start when you come back from uh, spring break or week after you come back from spring break. So I've got to get uh, a lot of things done before we go off on break. So, um, Cole, what's the difference between a sequence and a series, Cole? Um, whoa, whoa, Cole, Cole. And then if he... If you can't get it, I'll call on you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good job. Good job. Okay. So yeah, a, a series is a sum of a sequence. Okay, a series is a sum of a sequence. So what you see there is really a sequence. And my question to you is, what do you notice there? What do you notice there? Sorry. They what? They go up by two? Can someone state it in a different way by using the word difference? Not n minus two, but, sorry? There's a difference of two between two consecutive terms. Okay, there's a difference of two between two consecutive terms. There's a reason why I'm using the word difference because it's going to come into our formal definition in a minute. Uh, take a look at the second example. What about this one? Difference of, difference of negative 4, really, when you think about it. Okay? Yeah. Minus 9, minus minus 5. It's negative 4. So again, in both cases, the difference between two consecutive terms were the same. So here's a formal definition of an arithmetic sequence. Okay? So the two examples that I just showed you are examples of an arithmetic sequence. So here's a formal definition of it. Okay? Ah. The convention is that it's A2 minus A1, not A1 minus A2. So if you don't follow the convention, you're going to make a mistake in the formulas that you'll be using, okay? So uh, the formulas that I'm going to give you are consistent with the definition that it is A2 minus A1 or A10 minus A9, not A9 minus A10, okay? So please uh, keep that in mind, okay? Please keep that in mind. African name, Jambalaya. Jambalaya is not African, that's West Indies. That's West Indies. No, no, I'll give you Ugali bomb. Ugali bomb. Okay, so people, uh, on Thursday and Friday we talked about writing sequences in two different forms. Okay, what were they called? What were they called? Yeah, recursive was one, and the other one, and the functional form. So this is a functional form. Okay, and my claim to you is that this is an arithmetic sequence. Because if I do this difference, and I'm going to write it down without explaining it to you and see if you need help on that, okay? Does everybody buy that? Yeah. Amy is hell. Uh, Amy, did you go to prom? I can see prom fatigue on your face. I can see the lines of fatigueness on your face there. Oh, it's called hang. Not Amy, eh? Amy. Yeah, Amy doesn't do shit stuff. Oops, my bad. Uh, bad stuff like that. 
Okay, so so to get n minus one, Amy, all I do is I make this n minus one, and I get that. Okay, so then this becomes a n minus one. So if I kind of massage this and do a little bit of math on this. Everybody get a four out of there. So everybody with me on this? Okay, let me pause here and have you catch up. People listen up. So what this is saying is that if I take any two consecutive terms, okay, I haven't given n a value there. I'm saying any two consecutive uh, terms in the sequence, I get a constant number four, okay, which is the definition of an arithmetic sequence. So this is indeed an arithmetic sequence, okay. All right, uh, like we just heard earlier, Tatiana was saying that one way of writing a sequence is recursive. Well, here's the very first equation that you see there is actually writing, trying to get it out of the way. Uh, the first equation is a recursive way of writing an arithmetic sequence, and the last one is a non-recursive or uh, functional form of, of, uh, of an arithmetic sequence, okay? Uh, the intermediate qu uh, equations in there, don't worry too much about it. I'm just using them to go from my first equation to my last equation. So what you really have to know, you really have to know this, and you have to know this. Okay. Well, the good news, oh, actually the bad news, depending again which side you're looking at it from. Okay, I'm looking at it from my side. The bad news is that you will be given these equations on Friday next week. Aww. That's bad news. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for sympathizing with me or empathizing with me. Yeah, theoretically speaking, you shouldn't be given these equations, okay? Because in calculus AB, you're not given equations. You've got to memorize a lot of stuff in calculus. You've got to memorize a lot. regular calculus? Regular calculus, you get everything. You get yes. notes. You get cal You get... What? N84, N-box, you get everything. Everything. You better behave yourself. I won't behave myself. Yeah, but you'll be a senior next year, so it's going to be one hell. Uh, no, not really. My parents will still kick my ass. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. Huh? Oh, is that right? This is which, uh, with, uh, no, I, I oh, with, with oh, really? Yeah, this I is Eileen and Myra and everybody? Oh, wow, nice. Hey, Myra was trying to get a pole in there. Did she get a pole? Oh, yeah, she tried to get a stripper pole. I didn't get a pole. She didn't get one? <laughs> was Matt on that bus? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Okay, um, that's actually, whoa, where am I? Where am I? Uh, nothing. Uh, later. I'm recording. When I start, oh, okay, I, I need to get some examples done, okay? I need to get some examples done. No, seriously, because last period, I finished about a, one minute before the bell rang, okay? So, uh, hang on a minute. Let me uh, get this down so that you guys can start working on this. Okay? So, to do this problem, start out by using this formula here, okay? Okay, Charlotte, you had a question. Yeah, um, so the homework on Friday, Okay, if you have time, then we'll go over it. Yeah. But if you don't have time, you can take uh, If you don't have time, then you'll have to ask me tomorrow uh, during question and homework time. Okay. Yeah. So this problem is a mere plug in, plug in, okay? Plug it in, plug it in. Okay, well, that's what you've got to do for me, okay? So. Starting out at the back of the room there, Emily, what do you want to plug in for what, where?
Leo, what do you want to plug in? What, where? These three. So Sid's got one thing right. Anyway, sorry? A1 is 12. And if you work this out, what do you get? 3 and plus 9? Plus 9? Plus 9? Yes? Is everybody okay on that? Yeah, Tuesday, are you paying attention here? Sorry? Yeah, so you should get 3n plus 9. Oh, you took 3n plus 3. Don't have to. Don't have to. Okay. Tuesday, focus, focus. Is everybody here? Leon, are you awake? Or are you prone fatigue? Oh, you didn't go to prom? Well, some people get prom fatigued even if they don't go to prom. Because they are Facebooking and looking at, you know, living vicariously through other people's uh, pleasures. Uh, no. All right, tell me what you said about me. Uh, no, yeah, it is recording. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, so the next one is example two. Uh, work on it using the same, uh, it's not a formal way of doing it. Let me show you the formal way of doing it, okay? Uh, okay. He's saying, okay, the fourth term, so a sub 4 equals 20. a sub 13 equals 65. And Dene, being a Ruski, is good with his numbers. He's good with his numbers. So he said, oh my God, this is pretty dumb. 5 times 4 is 20. Oh my God. 5 times 13 is 65. How stupid is this teacher? Okay. So that's not really the way you want to do it. It worked out. This way was nice. Okay. Problem just happened to be that way, but you really want to use this, okay? A sub 4 equals 20 equals A1 plus 4 minus 1 times D. This is coming out of this formula that I gave you earlier. Comes out of there, okay? So, everybody with me on that? And then A sub 13 equals 65 equals a1 plus 13 minus 1d. So then you've got two equations. You've got this one and you've got this one. Everybody with me on that? And then if you subtract the two equations, okay, if you subtract the two equations, you get 45 equals 90. I know it's a lot of work, Demi, but if your sequence turned out to be something like 5n plus 5 over 2, there's no way you'd be able to get it the way you did. Okay? Well, that's what I'm saying. It worked out okay for this particular numbers that I gave you. But it doesn't always work that way. This method that I'm showing you will always work. Will always work. Okay? So then D is equal to 5. You take this 5, you plug it in there, and you get A1 equals 5. Okay? And then from this equation, you get AN equals 5. I know it's a lot longer, Demi, but believe me, if the sequence is something strange like this, you will not get it that way. You will not get it that way. So then this becomes 5n. Uh, even if he's a Ruski. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to you, Ruskis. The ones back in the old country are still kind of kicking ass, man. Hey, did you, did you find, okay, which country has the most number of youngest billionaires? Russia. 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 The most expensive home in the United States sold in Los Angeles. Yeah, to a Ruski. To a Ruski. And is, is he, is he, yeah, is he uh, from the mafia or is he legit? He's a stock trader, so yeah, mafia. Oh, really? Yeah, stocks. He was, he was one of the early investors in uh, Facebook, Facebook and yeah. Google. Yeah. He was Sergey Brin's homie. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was one of the homies. And I bought the most expensive house in the States. Okay. And so Sergey is a Ruski like uh, recent? Sergey Brin? Yeah, Brin. Uh, Russian Jewish. Yeah, but recent? Or did he come here as a student to Stanford? Or was he born and brought up here? Oh, no, he was born in Russia. Oh, really? So did he come here as a student? Yeah, I think so. To Stanford? Oh, wow. <laughs> Truly amazing. Yeah, you're right. You got your facts there. Wait, Timmy, where are you born? Uh -huh. 